You gonna be a skinhead? No, don't come Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got to. Cause you shaved it all the way down to your head. <laughs> We're gonna have to put a, a hat on them other clippers. Got him a little bit right there. You gonna leave the back, Sammy? No. <laughs> Man, dude, your hair was so pretty when you had to do that. First time we actually met was uh, through her sister and a mutual friend. We walked from my house to her house because she was right around the corner. She had headphones in. Uh, I'm wanting to say she's probably on YouTube or something, listening to music. She was sitting on the couch. And I was just chilling on the couch. I was like, oh my God, more strange people. Like all these weird people. And then like everybody went straight to the love seat and then nobody sat by me. So I was like up there all alone. And I was like, you know, I don't bite. Like everybody seemed scared to talk to me. I don't know why, but eventually I heard a rumor that my sister told him I was like, and worship the devil. And so that's why nobody wanted to sit by me. I knew, I knew then, I was like, man, she's bad. <laughs> I knew then I liked her. But you always got that doubt. You're like, that ain't gonna happen, you know? It was just really weird meeting her because I've never seen like a gay girl before in my life like with the cut off hair like I've seen it in movies but not in like real life I actually came out of the closet probably when I was like I want to say 15 14 15 I actually wrote my dad a letter and was just like hey you know you told me to do what makes me happy he's was, he was smiling at me when he's reading it and I was like well I'm gonna let my girlfriend come over if that's all right with you. She's on her way, I hope it's okay. And he, he just looked at me and hugged me and kissed me and smiled and said, you know, I, I love you regardless, do what makes you happy. When we first got together, we kept it a secret. Nobody knew about it. I was worried because of like the whole gay thing and my parents and stuff. Cause her her family's more traditional, more on the lines of no, it's not okay, it's not okay to date outside your race, you know. And I understand that. I understand that completely. D people are raised differently. It's it's all changing. It's all you know. It was just a big controversy about her being older than me and me just going through a breakup. And they thought that. Um, 
you know, Sarah was trying to like take advantage of me just getting rid of my boyfriend, but I got rid of my boyfriend if he was there. <laughs> she had never been with a girl before me. And so like her mom had this big thing like, oh, you turned my daughter gay. Like you can't just turn, like boom, you're gay. split up for like eight months over it. We was kind of sneaking, talking, seeing one another when we can. I had her a little phone that I paid the bill on so nobody knew that she had a phone that she was talking to me on. Kind of liked it that way for a minute. It's kind of exciting. My house is two story and my dad's window, it just looks right out over in the stairs. Her parents, when they were gone, she'd go in their room, and I'd get a pair of binoculars, and I'd be like, all right, I'll wave at me, and I'd look, and I'd see her. That's how we communicated there for a while. We'd just look at each other from the window and then just wave at each other, and we'd play around and stuff. It was so cute. After a while, it was like, well, we're in this together, you know? So we, we was struggling together. There for a long time, I was like really just hating my life. I did not even want to be on this earth. It was like I lost my best friend for eight months. You know, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was mad. I hated it. It sucked. It does suck. Like, Dad knew our struggle, and he was just like, you got to let Danger take his course. You got to sit back and let, you know, you don't want to end up in jail. And he thought they was going to try to get me for statutory rape. Anything so her daughter wouldn't be gay. You know what I'm saying? Then one day they called us, sneaking to see each other at the park, and they kind of were just like, we're gonna call the law and see what they have to say. We beat the law by 10 days. You know, I'm four years older than her. So if I would have been like four years and two, three days, four years and five days older than her, I would have went to jail the day that her mother called the police on Cops basically laughed at her mama and was like, look, you're tripping because your daughter's gay. I mean, this is not a 911 crisis. So that's when I guess her parents realized, you know, there's nothing the police can do. This is a family matter, and we got to sort this out. And that's when we kind of started being able to see one another again and talk to one another and stuff like that. When Sarah could come back over, everything was straight, and it was just cool. I was so happy. You know, like, even just seeing her every now and then would just make my day. Like, just to hold her for five minutes was good with me. Sometimes I feel like they did it because they got sick of seeing me like that. Maybe they did just have a change of heart and think, you know, we can't just keep doing this and living like this and stop judging her, you know. I don't go back and hate on her mom for her. I don't be like, well, you, you know, you almost had me locked up. You know, I wouldn't do that just because I'm not fit to argue with Brenda's parents. That's her parents. I know she loves them, you know. I'm gonna leave it be. We don't have to be married to love one another. We don't need that piece of paper saying we love each other. We know we love each other. That's all we need. A lot of people thought we wouldn't make it, but I mean, it's almost been three years, so we must have made it. <laughs>